Hello, my name is Keisha Bruce. I am an artist, curator, and storyteller. Welcome to Morton Fine Art, and this is my exhibition, Take Me to the Water. So Teach Me How to Dance actually comes from a, an experience that happened when I was on the beach um, in Dakar, in Senegal. And um, I was just walking right around at sunset, right before I was gonna head back to, to my hotel. And um, I was just walking, who doesn't love to walk on the beach at sunset? And what happened was I, was, I kept hearing somebody clapping and saying, one, two, three, four. And as I walked down the beach, there was um, a local man teaching two people how to dance on the beach right by the water. And I just thought, why not? That makes a perfect dance studio. But also the rhythm of him clapping, going one, two, three, four, while they were dancing, and then just the ocean roaring in the background and the sunset. Um, that's what I was thinking of when I made this work. Your eyes are the night sky is inspired by just that. So I'm from the Midwest. Uh, I've only been to the beach at night a few times. And the thing that I found so amazing is the combination of the sound of the waves cr crashing into the shore that you can't quite see because it's so dark um, and, and just the amazing amount of stars that you can see. And then also the night, the one night that I can remember the most when I was on the beach, it was a full moon. So the way that the, the moon kind of hit at the very top of the waves as they were crashing in, um, that's just magical. There's no other way to describe that. And so one of the things that I, I want to point out with this painting that doesn't necessarily come across in photographs, and I'm not sure in video, is that it looks like it's black and white, but it's actually shades of really dark green and different, different values of gray and blue. And I think there might even be a touch of, of a little bit of red and purple in here. Um, and I just think that really accurately reflects the way that the sky looks at night on the beach. So that's definitely where this, this work came from.
So about 15 years ago, I took my first trip to Crete, and um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous island, part of Greece, obviously. And we were staying on the northern coast, but we thought we would explore the island. So we ended up renting a little tiny convertible so we could zip through the mountains. And we made our way all the way around the, the, the island, and we ended up being on the south, southern coast of Crete. And when I tell you the way we pulled up to this beach, it just totally took my breath away. Um, Matala is a beach that is, again, on the more southern coast is more raw. There's not a lot of hotels and resorts. And it's just green and luscious and beautiful. And when you pull up, the first thing you see when you pull off of the highway are these two mountains that kind of surround the beach. And they have these caves that are dug into, in, carved into the, the mountains. And in ancient times, people lived there. And then later, in the 60s, all the hippie, hippies used to live there, like Joni Mitchell sings about, you know, uh, going and visiting Matla and sleeping and camping in the caves. So it is an absolutely gorgeous beach, and it is very, very wild. The waves are unbelievable. And I'm adventurous, so I decided that day that even though there was a red flag that said, which means no swimming, I was like, it doesn't look that bad. There's some kids out there. Let me go, let me go take a dip. Um, so I was kind of timing my entry into the water, trying to avoid the biggest waves. And I counted one, two, three, and then I ran, like sprinted as fast as you can sprint into very deep, savage water. Um, and the next thing I remember is I see all white, I'm covered in pebbles, and when I stand up, Half of my swimsuit is gone, and all, <laughs> and all I can do is laugh. Um, one, because I survived, but two, I have never felt the, the force and the pure strength of the ocean that way before, and I found it, um, it was exhilarating. It was exhilarating, and all was good with the world after I ended up having a wonderful day. Um, so this painting, this painting is very much about that experience. Um, uh, these colors kind of mimic how I remember the caves being when I when I first on the, uh, the approach to the to the beach, and then this this is the wave that threw me out of the sea. <laughs> so gifts from Mami Wata is. Um, directly about my experience of being in Senegal. A few years ago, I was invited to be part of the Dakar Biennial. I went to do an exhibition. And I really just went to like, learn the culture and to be in that place and to make work there and let it become what it would be. And one of the things that I didn't really expect was how much I would love the beaches there. And it was, I mean, they have these gorgeous, all of Senegal has just gorgeous, gorgeous, expansive beaches. But um, we were also, I was staying in Saint-Louis, which is the port name for the city name is Endar. And the, uh, the island is surrounded by water. And there is a mythology there about um, this uh, water deity called Mama Kumba Beng, Mami Kumba Beng. And... Um, I was just enthralled by this because I'd already heard of Mami Wata, Yamaya. There's, there's so many amazing um, water uh, deities throughout the African diaspora. But this one is very specific to that place, to Saint Louis. So um, I was kind of thinking about both of those things while, while, I was, while I was making this work. And also, one of the things that you do in Saint Louis to appease the goddess in the water is that you bring her gifts and you bring her, that are usually white. So it could be rice or flour or a little bit of sweet condensed milk. Um, and it's an, an offering as to as a thank you and also um, to ask her to protect the city. So a lot of the colors, this white color is very much inspired by that. And then of course, this kind of these other colors here are very much about just the gorgeous, luscious color and the texture of the sand. Um, Senegal in general has some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. 
And um, so I really wanted to reflect that. And it kind of naturally came about when I was making the work. So all of that, all of that, um, the deities, the sand, the beach, the waves, all of that kind of made its way into this work. 